Hello, this is Michael in Enough Dice, and this is the Kerbal Space Program. Ah, righty, ah, I've got some choices to make. I've basically got um, a mission in here. They want me to plant another flag on the moon, mm -hmm. which is nice. So um, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send something to the moon. Might have a look at some of these scan things to do, but I'm not sure if I'm going to. I'm also not going to try and do any of the testy things that I could in theory do. Just not going to. I'm also not going to do this. This is a um, another tourist mission, but this is landing people on the moon, uh, which should be worth quite a lot of cash when it's all done. But that's going to be a big mission, I think. Um, but I do have. Um, nearly two and a half million at the minute, which is quite nice. So, I am going to take this opportunity because upgrading the research and development is only 1.6 million. Look at that, isn't that lovely? Um, and the main reason I want to do that, I also want to come in here and, and possibly grab a new science thing. The main reason I want to do that is that it's going to allow me to grab not just this, which I can't because I don't have the, the science for it, but I actually wouldn't have been able to get this because you I wasn't able to go over 500 science. I wasn't able to spend 500 science at the time uh, until I did that upgrade that I just did. So there you go. Sure. Uh, is there any science thing I want to do? Uh, I might want to grab those those, those parts because those separate those the radial decoupler and the the detachment manifold are very good. Uh, protective rocket nose cone, the very big nose cone is also quite a nice thing. I like that. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? Miniaturization. Uh, gives me the first of the docking ports, which I quite like the idea of. Um, although I don't have the RCS controls that would go with that, because, I, I mean, once there's no point getting docking ports, um, and really until you can get, um, RCS control. Uh, where is RCS control? Where is RCS control? Uh, where is RCS control? Those are Werner engines and uh, advanced. Do I already have RCS control? <laughs> and I've just not noticed. I've already got RCS control. Oh, okay. Mm, do you all want docking ports then? Um, the advantage to docking ports is that I'll be able to um, dock things uh, and make space stations and that, but I don't know that's something I really care about just now. Big nose cone, quite like that. I, uh, tiny, tiny engines, 48.7S. Tiny, I mean, this, these are good for making equal tiny um, probes and such like. Uh, I think, unless miniaturization offers me something really interesting, no, I think I'm going to go for this. I do want activators, the claw is quite a, a good thing. Um, and if I ever get around to uh, doing missions relating to um, asteroids, obviously I'm going to want the claw quite well. Right, now. So still have 772,000. So let's go into here. <laughs> the VAB, obviously. Let's go make a ship. Um, well, I'm, I'm at, well, question about, about ships. Uh, obviously I can just load up my, my moon vehicle, if I can remember the name of it. I think it was, was it Steel Snake or something? Yeah, Steel Snake. 
done. I am wondering a little bit whether or not I want to play with uh, this beast here. Um, I'm just going to comp quickly compare that to... Right, so that is basically the size of those... Um, so if I base... Hmm, you see, right? What I would want to do is do that last mission, only replace the, the aluminium rhinoceros one. And instead of taking up those hitchhiker containers, take this up uh, with at least one scientist aboard. And I'll want a few other bits and pieces. Uh, I'll want um, some comms, which I don't. I don't. You know, I haven't, I haven't put. A, I didn't put it on antenna the last one. Some comms and some good power um, generation. Uh, I don't have proper solar panels yet. So that's a thing to look into. The idea being. That I could then get my landers, instead of just bringing the science back, uh, handing the experiments to the science lab, which will then generate lots and lots and lots of lovely science, in theory. Uh, because they, they work in a very different way uh, than they used to. Well, they just, they just used to be, the, the, the main thing is that they're able to clean and restore experiments. Um, you can conduct long-term experiments and ongoing research with the data you collect in the field. Be sure to check back on your scientists from time to time in terms of the results of their research. Mm -hmm. Right? So, the theory being, if I have one of these things in, say, the orbit of the moon, um, you know, any any landers that they go there. Um, rendezvous with this. I don't even, I, I wouldn't even need um, docking ports for this. Uh, in fact, docking ports wouldn't even help because a, a scientist has to go and um, actually put the data in. Or at least an astronaut would need to come out of the... Um, if I'm using a, 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 land, a lander with a Kerbal in it, for example, they could get out and then put the science in. Or if it's a remote controlled probe, then um, a Kerbal will come out of here and then do the same thing. So, if I'm going to do it that way, um, It's right. Yeah, the main thing I want to do is is, is not repeat the last debacle where I actually flipped my rocket over in where end over end because I went too fast. So hmm. yes. So let's do this. Won't save. So I want the aluminium rhinoceros. I'm gonna merge it. And by merge uh, I mean take out. Part of the problems that I'm. Uh, 
that's all slightly annoying. I think, okay, let's do it, let's do it the other way. Uh, don't say, and we're going to get aluminium rhinoceros, I'm just going to load it. We're going to do this the other way around, we're going to, um, I think, the, yeah, the, the, the problem is, clear of that. There we go. I was causing confusion is what I was doing. So I'm not going to put any actual instruments on this. Uh, this is purely going to be a research lab. But I do want a comms unit on it. I don't know if this is going to uh, change the center of mass. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure, actually. Um, again, you know, well, I say again. Uh, let's, 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 we'll put it on radially any, just in case, um, where can I put it, not gonna, I mean, I don't know, aesthetic shouldn't be an issue here, but I kind of feel a bit naff to put it there. I don't know if it's massless or not, you see. Um, what else are we going to put on? I'm going to put on some lights because I'm always, I'm always getting a bit grumpy with myself for not putting on lights. Um, and in all likelihood, these are, if, if this ever, if I ever, if I ever bring this back home, uh, those are going to burn up in the atmosphere, but I don't think I mind that too much. Um, Which light did I get pick up? Did I pick up that one or that one? Honestly, don't know. Illimited Mark Two doesn't shine very far. Yeah, okay. Um, illuminate the rest of the rocket if I launch at night again, which I very often tend to do. So I'm not going to call this the aluminium rhinoceros. Um, I don't know if I've got any names that I haven't used yet. Platinum, I don't think I've used platinum cow. I don't think I've, no, I've used platinum cow. I've used platinum cow. Um, platinum puffin, I think. Platinum puffin. The only one I've got left is Mercury. I think after that's Mercury Tiger, though. I think I'm going to have to go make some new ones. Um, right, let's. A Science Lab Launch. And we'll save Platinum Puffin. Probably have more delta V because I'm, I, I suspect this is not quite as heavy as the other thing. Uh, now, crew, who are we going to crew this thing with? Uh, I'm not going to crew it with you, no thank you. Now, Valentina, I'm not going to put Valentina in there because Valentina is, is going to be my person who actually goes and lands on the moon and plants a flag. So, um, I do have Philney, who I picked out of the air, so Philney can go. And we've got two scientists. No, we've got some scientists. How many scientists have we got? Um, I only really need the one. So Kenmi can go. I don't think you need. I think you just need the one. Um, 
if need be, I can send someone up later. So Phil needs going to be piling in. I don't really. I probably don't need a pile. I probably just replace all this with a a probe. That, I like the idea of taking a pilot along. Um, right, so I'm not going to go. I'm not just going to hit launch on this one. Um, apart from the else, I don't know if the game's going to. I did some tr transitions in and out of like various buildings. Uh, oh, it actually worked. Good lord. Um, and that is very often the problem. But we're going to warp until next morning. I mean, I did put lights on it, but, you know. And now I can click on the launch pad and just look for Platinum Puffin. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's crewed in. Yeah, it just, it just changes the crew. It clearly doesn't save the crew. Uh, so Kenny, I, don't, I can't remember if it was Ken Me I was putting in there, but it's Ken Me now. Ken Me's the one who's going. And Philney is going to go. Yeah, so that was actually. The, those are the two I actually rescued from the moon before. So there you go. Um, 88 grand is going to cost me. I'm not going to get any bet. I'm not going to get any, any money back from this. Uh, because this is not that kind of mission. Hmm. Now the game crashes. Right. We reload. We're reloaded. Uh, I'm fiddling around getting angles. I don't know why. Um, okay. Work out. Oh, there's the lights. Okay. So it's morning, so I don't actually need lights. Um, throttle is at full. Uh, SAS is on. Or in this case, piloting is on. And thrust to weight ratio is zero because nothing's happening yet. We 1.51 in a minute. Now I need to keep track of my surface speed. Uh, not only for the normal reason that you need to, you, you you judge when to you know move your your start your your turn, but I need to not go over about three hundred or so um, meters a second. Because that's about when you start to get into um, transonic, and that's when you start to lose control of your your spacecraft because the drag forces suddenly become very heavy on these leading edges, and I hope by doing that that I will uh, avoid that flip what I did last time, which. Uh, that made my orbit have um, a really huge level of inclination. Really deep grunty noise. I'm actually being able to power down quite a lot. Um, basically, as these engines are um, using fuel, the weight um, is coming down, therefore the thrust to weight ratio is going up. I kind of want to keep that at about 1.2, not too far off. Um, now, as I'm going up um, 
uh, above the atmosphere that's less and less of a problem because the um, atmospheric drag is also going to be less and less of an issue um, so so far I certainly don't want that to get above 1.5 and I'm coming over nicely as well very tempted to start saying just follow the program I'm slightly behind I wanted to I would want to be about um, 40 or 5 degrees uh, at 10k so I'm I'm a little bit behind that schedule but not too bad not too bad So certainly, um, well, I'm going up. I'm over 500 meters a second now, and it's not a problem. So. Just, it's just slow and steady, slow and steady. Don't, don't go mad, you know. Probably should have throttled up full uh, before ditching those side boosters. But never mind. I should also put parachutes on those side boosters uh, because they're just so ridiculously they're actually ridiculously expensive. Uh, but I don't think I've got mods that will enable me to um, full speed ahead. I think. Um, it would act, there would actually be certain mods that would, I would need to actually recover the value of those boosters. This is not a bad level. Assuming, assuming I am actually going to get into orbit, that what? What would worry me? Yeah, what's yeah? What is happening? Is that my time to periapse is decreasing, whereas I'd quite like it to be increasing. So I'm going to nose up a bit uh, to do that. This is really smooth. really pleased <laughs> right, seeing as I'm, I'm at about one minute uh, to, to Apple Apsis I'm going to go right towards the horizon now And I will stop when I get to 75 ish, which is now. Uh, so I'm going to have a little bit of a drift. So this is all functioning reasonably well. I wonder if my app perhaps is home. Uh, I must have um, not, when I said I was 75, I must have. My reflexes might not be as good as I thought they were. But that was quite a nice, smooth thing there. Now I'm going to quick save because I need to adjust something that's going to. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm moving my mouse outside of the, the Kerbal program and then back in again, and that doesn't always work very nicely. So. Um, right, okay, so um, that's quite a flat. Look at that, I was almost in orbit as was. Uh, the nav ball. Now, I don't want to actually start um, 
putting maneuver nodes or anything down until I'm actually out of the atmosphere because um, if you look, my apoapsis is changing. So if I actually do put a, a, a maneuver node there, it will gradually um, it'll gradually shift. Whereas I want it to be right on the apoapsis. Uh, so I'm just gonna let's just go and tumble a bit. I don't think we need to be pointing in any specific direction right now. Um, I don't really. There's nothing I particularly need to do until I'm out of the atmosphere completely. Do, 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 do. What a nice little launch that one. I'm really quite pleased with that. And that's another Kerbal I have to go rescue at some point. And nearly, nearly, Nico, come on. Right, there we go. So, as you can see, there's been a bit of a drift in that... Um, in that maneuver node. So I'll just put it back. Because uh, now I'm outside the atmosphere, I'm not going to be the, the um, drag isn't going to be uh, slowing me down and changing my apoapsis and periapsis. So we're going to circularize, uh, unless the moon just happens to be in the light, which it isn't, that's fine. So we're going to circularize and we're going to spend a long time uh, moving my crown. Oh, this is bad. Yeah. How long? How long until? Okay, that wasn't quite as bad as I thought it was. It seemed, it seemed a lot slower. We'll start slowing down the process now. All right, so we're, we're all right. I was a bit, I was a bit worried about maneuvering this ridiculous thing. Uh, I have enough delta V. Oh, I don't quite find it. When I did this before uh, in the in the the rhinoceros, uh, where there was an ever so slight flip in the middle of the flight, um, no point really warping two at this stage. I don't think. What I'm going to do is very quickly check what the flight computer thinks the um, time to burn is. So the flight computer is agreeing with the um, main games. So that's okay. Uh, so I'm really, it's only like a three or so second burn. So that's actually pretty cool. That's very close to um, what they try and do in actual space, which is a continuous burn right from launch all the way to orbit. I didn't want to go quite then. Oh, I'm, I'll be alright. I'll be fine. Uh, yeah, it's not, no, no, you know, it's not maybe super mega circular, but it will be. It's an orbit, that's really what, what, what matters right now. Uh, so we will set as target 0 0.8 degrees. Yeah. So less than a degree off inclination, that is fine and dandy. And so I'm going to put my maneuver node approximately where the moon would just be coming over the horizon. And I'm going to. Actually, before we do anything. Um, I'm not going to take the orbital stage with me. So 
I'm gonna throttle, yeah, throttle, uh, throttle down. So thanks very much, Orbital Stage. You were lovely and wonderful. Uh, so I'm gonna bring that out. Okay. I'm gonna see what. Um, that's pretty good. I'm not going to want it to be that high, of course. Oop. So we've moved. So I get my maneuver node. And I can adjust it. And you can see that it's, it's it makes the 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 amount it changes goes up quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to go for thirty k for no very good reason. I suddenly realized I'm not really changing the, the digital. Oop. Ah, fair enough. That'll do. 20 is actually quite high, uh, really, for um, an actual moon orbit. Um, but meh. Aim towards it, and then warp set to move on. I'm gonna put the focus back on the ship itself. Uh, time to know, burn time to 49. So this is going to take a little time. What should we talk about in the meantime? <laughs> uh, in fact, I'm going to leave it there. Um, from here on in, it should be fairly easy. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Let's see if I can find a place for something like that. Uh, hit like and subscribe if you've been enjoying these videos. And you can find Nearly Enough Dice at nearlyenoughdice.com and also we're on Twitter and we're on Facebook. And uh, until next time, reach for the stars.